Hi there, welcome to Foss Electric Bikes Review. Today we're going to be reviewing the F4W Peak. I'll just give you a quick once around. Now the Peak comes in a few different colours. You can get it in obviously black, like this one we have here. You can also get it in white and you can also get it in a navy blue as well. Now one of the first things you might notice with the Peak is unlike the other mountain bike styles which are available on the market, the Peak has got thinner tyres, so they're only 1.75 inch tyres, uh, which means that it's very good rolling resistance, so you find that commuting and rolling on the road, it goes extremely well. Not to say that it can't handle towpaths and stuff like that, because obviously you've got the front suspension as well. Now looking at the rear wheel of the Peak, you've got a 250 watt hub motor, you've got 8 speed Shimano derailleur, you have a plug to disconnect the motor should you get a flat tyre, so you can just disconnect that and take your wheel off as you would, normally would and repair the puncture. You have powerful V brakes at the rear comes with a mud guard and a rear light also. Now this particular bike has a torque sensor so as soon as you put pressure on the pedals it's instant power and so unlike a rotation sensor the power's there if you're starting on an uphill the power's there ready for you to go. Moving along to the front of the bike you've got your front mud guard, you've got your suspension forks and they they just lock out and you can adjust the resistance of the fork via this here again you've got powerful v-brakes coming down this side of the bike we've got your 36 volt 9 amp battery and that's a Panasonic battery we've also got the kickstand and everything that you see on this bike is included in the price of the bike. Another plus point about the Peak is it has a quick release seat clamp, so you can just height adjust the seat easily. And anybody should be able to get, to get comfortable with this bike due to the angle that you can set the handlebars at. And the handlebars also twist so you can always find a comfortable position for whoever's riding it. So looking at the left hand side of the handlebars, we've got your brake lever, we've got a bell. Now looking at the display screen, you turn it on by pressing the middle button and as you can see it's got speedometer and trip distance, five levels of pedal assist, Obviously if you're pedalling in level zero, that's just like pedalling a, a normal bike. Uh, moving up through one through to five, one giving the least amount of power but the most range, five giving the most amount of power. Talking, talking about range, um, the peak should do, on throttle only, should do about 25 miles. Uh, and on level one, you'll be looking at between 55 and 60 miles. Moving to the centre of the bike. You've got a light, you've got your eight speed Shimano selector, you just push them with your thumb, and then it's a twist, twist, half twist grip throttle, and that will take you to 15 and a half miles an hour, so you can sit on it like a scooter, and then you have your brake lever. So looking at the battery for the Peak, as I said earlier, it's a 36 volt, nine amp battery, and it's got Panasonic cells. So looking close up, we have a button here and that switches the battery on, as you can see the lights. That gives you an indication of how much charge is left in the battery. There's an indicator on the, uh, on the LCD screen as well though, I'll turn that off for now. Uh, the keys obviously lock the battery to the frame of the bike, so if you're going into the shop or the pub, you just lock the bike up through the frame and nobody can pinch your battery because it's locked onto the bike. Uh, I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how you get it off. So you just literally undo the keys and the battery just comes out like so. Let's just pop it back in. 
like that. Now to charge the battery, it's this here, and this just screws on, screws off. So we'll screw that off, and that's your charging point. And it's just like a laptop charger that you get. So you just plug it in, red light is charging, green light is charged. And it takes about five hours from flat for a full charge, but you don't have to run it down to charge it. So if you just go out for a five mile ride, you can come home, charge it, it'll probably only take you half an hour. So in summary, the F4W Peak is an amazing bike if you want to use it as a commuter bike or if you want to go down towpaths or anything that you want to get some distance on, some tarmac roads, cycle tracks, with the thinner, thinner tyres than a regular mountain bike, you still get the sporty look but you also get the performance. It comes in three colours as I've previously stated, so you've got a bit of choice there. The lights, mudguards and stand come with it. So if you want any more information about this bike, then you can contact us via the email address that's coming up after this video, or give us a call via the number that's coming up after the video. You can click the link below this video and that'll take you directly to the website where you'll be able to read user reviews and look at more photographs of this bike. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, click the button that's coming up um, and that'll just push notifications to you whenever we've got new videos and you can check out our other video reviews of bikes that we've done. Thanks for watching.